that's horrifying what she went through. I'm a white girl who got a job in Hollywood. So I like how unadorned her honesty is. Be forewarned. It's not a light read, but it is a really, really good read. I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy is a book. It's a book that everyone was talking about. I, I feel like I found out about it like because everyone was talking about it. Like I didn't anticipate this or know about this and suddenly it was just in my feed and I was like, what? <laughs> what is this? Why is everyone reading this? I also I uh, never had cable growing up, so I'm not exactly sure if I was the right age for it when it was out, but I never watched like Nickelodeon. I never watched iCarly. I never watched any of the stuff that she's from. I don't really know who she is. I never really heard of her until now. And so when everyone was talking about it, I was like, well, I'm interested. So I went to my Libby app. I was like, I'll get on the waiting list for the audiobook for it, see what the hype's about. And I was able to get a skip the line copy. Uh, I was like ready immediately. And I was like, well, <laughs> well, I better, I better grab this. It's super short. So I finished it in you know, a couple hours. This book is not for the faint of heart. It is very, very short, but it packs a punch and trigger warnings abound. I'm not particularly triggered by any of the content in it. And even I found it a bit difficult at times. And her writing style makes it okay, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, her writing style, uh, she talks about some pretty heavy subject matter in a kind of casual deadpan way, which I quite enjoy deadpan humor. That is my flavor of humor. So she treats a lot of this in a non melodramatic way. If she had really been super emotional about it, it would have been even more difficult to read about, but she's not. So the subject matter is again, quite difficult, even for me, who's not triggered by the content. But as she dealt with a lot of eating disorders, her relationship with her mother, as the title suggests, is awful. And I have to say, even though I read the title of the book and I, I kind of knew what I'd be getting myself into because the title tells you, even so, I was kind of surprised at how awful her mother was. And you know, you read a book called I'm Glad My Mom Died, you're like, okay, so mom's gonna be awful. But reading the book, I was like, my god my god that's horrifying what she went through uh, at the same time you know it's very small scale horror you know like and she she makes a point of acknowledging her own privilege she makes a point of saying you know like i had it better than a lot of people you know i i had a roof over my head i had a family that their way cared about me i'm a white girl who got a job in hollywood you know boohoo my sad story but at the same time like it doesn't minimize how awful what she went through was um just because she did have certain levels of privilege does not mean that what she went through was fine it does not mean that she's not allowed to complain about what happened to her because what happened to her was was horrifying i really liked her writing style her authorial voice is is very strong and there's points in the book where she talks about how she definitely liked writing better than being an actor she didn't really like being in front of the camera but didn't wasn't given a choice and it's clear reading this book that you know she does have a talent for writing and that's unfortunate that for so long she was forced to do something that is not where her heart lies, not where her passion is, not what she's interested in doing, and not where her true talents lie. Um, she, I think she is a, a good author. I would read more books from her beyond just memoirs. She has a, a really strong authorial voice that really does work for me. And I think anytime you read a memoir where the audiobook is narrated by the person whose memoir this is, makes it, I guess there must be exceptions to this, but it makes it stronger because you feel like this person is really sharing with you their story in their voice. And so the things that happen to them when they, you know, retell what happened to them, you know that they're giving it, at least according to their own memory of how things happened, they're giving you a sort of accurate impression of it, you know? Uh, if they like recount a conversation with a parent, then the way that they recount it, you can trust is like, sounds kind of like how that happened. It was, it was a hard book to read, but it was, it's weird to say an enjoyable experience for anything that dark and that personal, because I, I mean like, yes, I thoroughly enjoyed reading about your awful childhood. What a great time. But I did enjoy reading it because it was well-written, it was well-told, it was harrowing, but I felt like it was an important story to tell. And I feel like it is the kind of story that a lot of young girls would need to hear. Uh, again, I wasn't, I've never personally had an eating disorder, but I do, you know, I was around how horrible diet culture was, especially in the 90s and 2000s. And even if I didn't have an eating disorder, you know, I was certainly influenced by that being around and my own view of myself was influenced by things like that. So while I never experienced anything to that degree, I could relate to the feelings that she's talking about and how that just went a lot further for her and for a lot of other uh, young girls. I also, you know, have had, I have a mother and I have a relationship with my mother. Uh, I have a, obviously a much, much better relationship with my mother. It's not a very high bar uh, to have a better relationship with your mother than, than, than Jeanette had. But, you know, again, even if you didn't have anything as toxic as she did, there's still things about it that will probably ring true or things about it that will either feel familiar or you'll go thank god my mom wasn't like that as bad as my mom has been or as upset as i've been at things my mom has done or said or or whatever i've 
I mean, she wasn't like that. <laughs> so you can always be much, 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 much worse. And I definitely don't want to make it sound like my mom is, you know, awful. She's only good compared to Jeanette McCurdy's mother. I don't mean that at all. I love my mom. Uh, but, you know, every parent Fs up in some way, no matter what you do. You love them too much. You don't love them enough. Whatever you do, you did it wrong. <laughs> so like, obviously my mom and I have had rough patches growing up and rough patches even now. But, you know, I, it did make me very, very grateful for all the things that my mom did do or all the things that she definitely didn't do thank goodness all the ways that she could have been a lot more toxic um or or a lot of things that she could have done that she never did even at all and i'm really grateful she never did so it put a lot of things in perspective uh, and i felt really really awful for jeanette mccurdy that she had to go through that but it was still uh, not, not enlightening per se but i feel like you can find things to relate to in that and and the, again the way she talks about her experiences the way she talks about the industry and not just her mother but the way that the, her mother was only able to do these things to her because society enabled it. So I think it's an important conversation to have, the one that she's having. And it's a very catchy title. But yeah, by the end of the book, I was like, yeah, you weren't really uh, exaggerating. I, I can, you say you're, you're glad your mom died and like, girl, me too. I'm also glad your mom died. <laughs> it's, it's truly awful to feel that way. And, and I think by titling the book that, um, I think she's also not just having a difficult conversation about how difficult her childhood was and how horrible her relationship with her mother was, but it's also, it's a really, really hard thing to realize that you are glad that your mother is dead. Like, as bad, you, to, to realize that you hate your mother, to realize that uh, your mother did awful things to you is one thing. But to fully acknowledge that, and I'm glad she's dead, like, that's a, to, to find that truth in yourself, as difficult as that is, and as much as society would judge you for expressing something like that, when... I mean, there's no reason to actually, like, by being a mother, you don't, you're not entitled to be revered and to be loved just for the fact that you birthed someone. Like, if you are that awful, and you're like, oh, how awful to say that you're glad your mother is dead. No, not really. How awful that her mother did things to make her feel that way and to make it true. So I like that she's kind of like pulling the bandaid off of that and being like, yeah, you know what? I'm glad my mom is dead. And I don't think it's wrong to say that if it's true. Here's what she did and here's why. So I like how unadorned her honesty is in the book throughout, not just the realization that she's got her mother's dead, but throughout. She's, she's not looking at anything but with rose colored glasses and she's not apologizing for anything. She's saying, this is what happened to me. This is how I felt about it. Here's what was bad. Here's the privilege that I did have. Here's what I went through. Here's what I've come to have to reconcile with. Here's what I've come to have to learn about myself and learn about what happened to me that I didn't even recognize. And here's where I am today. And and she, it's not at the end of the day, spoilers, at the end of the book, she's not like, and now I'm perfectly fine and great. Like, no, like she's got, this is, you know, after up for life to a greater or lesser degree. So I just, I loved how baldly honest she was throughout the book. It was affecting. And I think it's, it's a, the title is obviously what's gotten people's attention, but I think there's a reason that people are reading this book so much because it's, it really cuts to the quick. And she's talking about things that I think most people can find at least some piece of um, to recognize or to feel a kinship with. So I do recommend it, but I also recommend that you check out the content warnings if you are going to be triggered by any of the content in it. Again, she's not holding back. It's not like lightly alluded to. She like gives full on pretty graphic detail about things that happened. So be forewarned. It's not a light read, but it is a really, really good read. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read the book, if you knew who she was before. If you still have no idea who she is, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, <laughs> whatever you want, let me know. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but definitely Saturdays, so like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.